If you love chocolate, then this is the pie recipe for you. It is a double chocolate pie. So it's got a chocolate pudding with a chocolate pastry crust, whipped cream, and more chocolate on top. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, it's all about pie and it's all about chocolate. I love this pie recipe because a chocolate pudding pie is just something I, I just love it. It's so easy to eat and it's so delicious and I am a complete chocoholic, so this is the pie for me. This pie starts with a chocolate pie crust. Now it's a chocolate pastry crust and it's no roll, so it's super simple and it's super easy and the way I make it, anyone can do it even if you think that you can't make your own pie crust. So let's get started on the pie crust first. Start by adding one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt to a food processor. And then I'm just gonna pulse that a few times to get it to mix up. Um, I recommend leaving the lid on the food processor because that cocoa is gonna fly everywhere. So don't even bother taking it off. We'll just add all the other ingredients through that top slip. And then to this, I'm gonna add a half of a cup of cold butter. I've diced it and then put it back in the refrigerator. You want it nice and ice cold when you add it to your food processor. So just go ahead and add that in and pulse it a few times until the butter is broken up um, throughout the mixture. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of ice water. So I fill the measuring cup with ice and water and I'm just gonna measure out one tablespoon and add that and then run my food processor until the mixture comes together. Now, normally when I make this crust, I need to add another one to two teaspoons of water. So start with a tablespoon, run it for a little while. If it's not coming together, then add another teaspoon of water and continue running the processor. Eventually it will come together in a dough. It's not gonna be sandy, it will press together um, like a cookie dough or like a pie dough would. Now this is a no roll pie crust, so it's super easy. I'm just using a nine inch pie plate. I am spraying this with nonstick cooking spray because when you're pressing the um, pie crust in, sometimes it can stick to the pie plate, so I recommend greasing your pie plate. So go ahead and just dump the pie crust into your pie plate and press it um, up the sides and on the bottom of, it, of the pie plate, just make it even. Now this crust is good for any kind of pie, um, baked or no bake. So I'm gonna blind bake the crust today because um, we're filling it with chocolate pudding, which is no bake. But you can also bake like pecan pie or apple pie or anything like that in this crust. Um, if you're doing that, just follow the directions on the recipe that you're using for the baked pie um, when you're dealing with the crust. But today we're gonna blind bake it, so I'm gonna make sure and prick it with the tines of a fork all on the bottom and on the sides. And then I'm gonna chill this for at least an hour um, to make it nice and cold and hard before I blind bake it. Now when it's time to bake it, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and you're gonna bake it for probably 10 to 15 minutes, probably around 12, it just depends on your oven until the crust is no longer glossy and it looks, if you're using a clear pie plate, you can kind of see that it's somewhat cooked, mostly cooked through on the bottom. You want it to be all the way cooked through because we're gonna fill this with a no-bake filling. So it took mine around 12 to 15 minutes to bake. Again, it depends on your oven. Um, and you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to smell it. It'll smell nice and chocolatey and you'll be able to tell that it's no longer glossy and looks cooked through. And now it's time to make our pie and assemble it. So we're gonna make a chocolate pudding for the filling. Um, I, I mean, yes, you could go the easy route and use like a box of instant pudding or a box of cooked pudding and make it that way. But there's something about homemade chocolate pudding. I'm not a huge fan of the box chocolate pudding stuff, but I love it homemade. So give it a try, it's super easy. This is a no egg pudding, so there's no guesswork. Um, it just takes a few minutes on the, in the pan. It's just as easy as making a box of cooked pudding, but it tastes way better. To make your pudding, you're gonna add two thirds of a cup of sugar, a quarter of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt to a medium saucepan. Whisk that together until it's combined, and then add two cups of milk. I love using whole milk for this because it makes it nice and rich, but you can use non-fat or even 2% milk. Whisk it until the powder is kind of into the milk mixture and then switch to a wooden spoon. And now we're just making pudding. So now you're gonna stir this constantly, making sure you're scraping the bottom of the pan. 
um, until it thickens. And that's gonna take five to eight minutes. Again, it depends on the heat of your, um, of your stove. And just keep stirring it until it thickens. It'll seem like it's never gonna thicken, but then it'll start to steam a little bit. You'll notice that it's probably gonna start coming to a boil, and then all of a sudden it's gonna thicken fast. So make sure and continue stirring it, and because you don't want it to stick to the bottom, so make sure you're scraping the bottom of the pan as you're stirring. Once it starts to thicken, let it cook for another minute or so until it's nice and thick and then turn off the heat and then add a teaspoon of vanilla and a half of a cup of chocolate chips. Now you can use any kind of chocolate chips that you like. I'm using semi-sweet, but you could use milk chocolate if you like that better. Um, and so to add those in, they'll melt rather quickly. Just stir them in until it's nice and thick and melted. The chocolate chips add just a nice extra chocolatey flavor to the pudding. And then you're gonna pour the pudding, you can pour it warm or hot, into your cooled pie crust. So just pour that in and smooth it out. And then you're gonna let it cool to room temperature. Then you're gonna cover it with plastic and chill it until it's set um, a few hours or even overnight. Once your pie is chilled, then it's time to finish it. Now, I love topping it with fresh whipped cream. You can make your whipped cream um, a few hours ahead if you want. Sometimes I add a pinch of um, cream of tartar into my whipped cream because it'll make it a little bit more stable, but you won't taste it at all. Um, but you'll want to make sure and just put the whipped cream on um, shortly before serving. Whipped cream tends to weep a little bit. You don't want to do this like the day before. You want to do it the day of serving. Um, you could always use Cool Whip if you want. That's totally fine. No judgment. Um, for my fresh whipped cream, it's super easy to make. You can watch that video. Um, it's just whipped cream, vanilla, and powdered sugar, and it's delicious. Um, you're gonna top that all over your pie, and then you're going to garnish it. I'm garnishing it with some mini chocolate chips, but you could do some chocolate shavings or just a dusting of cocoa powder or leave it plain. Um, this pie is a chocolate lover's dream. And once it's all done, you have the best chocolate pie. It is a double chocolate pudding pie. It's got chocolate crust, chocolate pudding, and whipped cream. I mean, just, I can smell the chocolate from where I'm standing. It's just like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I can't wait to taste it. And my dog is going crazy because she loves whipped cream. And so she saw me making the whipped cream earlier and like all she can do, she's going crazy behind me if you've seen her. Um, she wants whipped cream, but don't worry, I'm not giving her pie because <laughs> that wouldn't be good. But I might give her a little whipped cream. All right, I can't wait to taste it. I love chocolate. I love the chocolate pudding and the, and the crust. Let's have a taste. Mmm, my chocolate pudding, I swear, it's lucky it even made it into the pie crust because once I start licking the spoon, I just can't stop. That's how good chocolate pudding is and I am not a chocolate pudding fan unless it's homemade, so you know it's gotta be good. I love the fresh whipped cream, that pie crust, it's a little crumbly, but it's absolutely delicious. It's like, it's just, this is just super chocolate. It's like the death by chocolate pie. It is so good. I know you're gonna love it. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite chocolate dessert is. I am going to go enjoy a slice of pie with some coffee while you keep watching for more pie recipes.